Hey, it's David again. Just a quick video here about um, having your battery frozen in the winter. Um, I live in California, so I don't really get a lot of winters, especially in the south, in Los Angeles. Um, right now we're in Wisconsin and I am experiencing some interesting winter conditions here. <laughs> um, I had the car parked overnight here and uh, didn't charge it, didn't plug it in. And the battery um, cooled down quite a bit actually to minus six or seven degrees Celsius um, and uh, I just plugged it in started charging and um, let me show you what I can see here so I'm looking at the canvas data that's the computer data from the car itself with the scan tool minus six degrees Celsius on a battery and you can see you get this uh, snowflake next to the range and the little blue line and it also says says less energy available because of the battery being cold so obviously we have a cold battery and we have a little bit of power loss but as you can see there's 19 amps going into the battery but zero miles per hour so it's drawing power but it's not charging the battery and then i'm seeing this here charging problem check power source and cable a green blinking Charge port means there's power going in, it's charging, so that looks good. The UMC LEDs also indicate there is power going in. And clearly there's 19 amps going in, but it says a charging problem. And then it dawned on me, uh, the batteries, the lithium batteries cannot be charged when they are below freezing. Freezing temperature is exactly at zero degrees Celsius. So once the batteries are below zero they cannot be charged they need to be warmed up and what the car is doing right now it's running the battery heater at about 4.5 kilowatt that's just 19 amps and warming up the battery so it's drawing power from the grid it's warming up the battery but it can't start charging yet because the battery is still too cold so now let's have another look at the temperature we're just going over zero degrees celsius and if you look at the top two numbers, that is the battery current and battery power. It's starting to just get a little bit of power. It shows a negative value. Negative actually means charging. Positive means discharge. It's counterintuitive, but that's just how Tesla uh, decided to have the data running. So right now we're just going over, over freezing temperature and we're getting a little bit of charge into the battery. And you can see that the amps it went up from 18 or 19 to 23 so now it's drawing a little more power the battery heater is still running but it's also adding a little bit of charge to the battery and as the battery warms up the power going into the battery again it's a negative value but that means going into the battery is going up and up a little bit one important thing to mention is that the battery temperature and outside ambient temperature uh, are not the same uh, in many cases they're actually quite different depending on how you're driving or whether the car was parked overnight uh, the temperature of the battery and temperature outside can be quite a big uh, that can be quite a big difference and I believe based on what I have been looking at looking at the canvas data once the battery reaches about 8 degrees Celsius uh, that's when the battery heater stops running and then all the power can go into actually charging the battery. The only thing I'm a little bit annoyed with is that uh, stupid error message because it says uh, charge problem and check the cables and check uh, your power source and everything. That's really misleading and actually freaking you out. Really there's no problem at all. The power source is fine, charging is fine it's running the battery heater until the battery is warm. I think Tesla should change that error message to uh, charging suspended until the battery is warmed up or something like that. But not saying there's a problem because there is no problem, it's just running the battery heater. Uh, I think that's really confusing. I think uh, that freaked me out for a moment and I think Tesla should really change that error message.